Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and welcome back to Icarus. And in the last episode we'd been talking about upgrading the base into a bit of concrete, we've been working with concrete now. So I have actually made a start on that by doing the foundations under this wooden floor. So if you're enjoying the series don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also if you're not yet subscribed, the wee subscriptions most welcome and totally appreciated. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave a wee comment in the comment sections down below. Right, so we'll get everything back to normal. Right, so we made some a wee start with the walls here. Let's have a wee look and just we've got our hammer in again. So we're gonna put the hammer back on. We're gonna hit up, we're going to concrete. And then we're just gonna go to zap. Too far away. Right, so we've got cement mixers still working away, we've got other bits working away, we've got steel, more steel getting made up for rebar and some more screws because we are actually going through a substantial amount. Oh, why is that cracking? Oh, I don't like that. I thought it was all cracked. Right, okay, that's structure. Is it? Yes, it is, because that one's the same. Right. We'll get them changed over right away, and we'll need to make some, some pillars. Before we end up losing walls here. Just as I noticed the cracks there. That is a sign that you look for. Oh, come on. There we go. That's a sign you look for. The good thing it shows up well in this concrete. So it's telling me that there's structural weakness somewhere. It's not bad enough to the whole place to come down, but it's bad enough for the wall, for the walls to crack right, you need to sort that right away. Okay, so really then, it is going to be, uh, seven, there, we should have a pillar underneath there, there, the pillars are actually looking pretty cool, I do like them. Right, okay, so then, that one, that one, the wee one's alright isn't it, it's just that one, that one, and that one, and we'll try going to glass, right, I'm sure I actually put, right, so that one, that one, and we already put one there, so, Go this way. Oh, and that one's already had one. Right, that's fine. Right, okay, let's see. Ah, there we go. Straightened it up already. Strengthened it up already, should I say. Eh? So. Okay, why is that not like this fit? Is that glass? Ah, oh, right, wait a minute, wait a minute here. Right, let me see a second. Um, we'll go R, we'll go concrete. We're going to add, what it was, we had glass pillars there. Right, okay. So that. Let's 
I made extra glass pillars, that's how I've just put them up. Um, should have sorted out all our sort of weaknesses but I don't like that actually with the effect I'm going to actually just put pillars right on that okay I did notice know that some were quite low to the water there we go, and swimming Gadget, that's so you can just upgrade without having to dismantle everything and basically you can carry. Oh man, stop moving. Two, where's two under there? That's pretty cool. Now we've got our stairs there as well, we can change them on the back. The animal pen. We do take on it time. Um, it might be a wee bit longer an episode. Could actually go ahead and have a look. Um, do we need pillars as well? I'll take some pillars out. Have a look at this for them. I can always pick it up if I need to. Um, right. Are we going to get animals trapped in that corner there? But So we wanted to do like a sheltered area for the bedding and stuff. But we still got to do it so they can get in and out themselves. Uh, but for the food and stuff out here. We've got enough of these. Um, ten. Nope, six of us. So if we do 3x3 three three for the, the Rio sign and have out here for the water and the food or do we take it out one more just to give them a bit more room See this is going to be open, this isn't going to be sheltered It's only going to be 3x3 three three, but it's going to be sheltered how intelligent these animals are so they might be as stupid as what I am so <laughs> if that's the case we're laughing uh, right now we're going to just put three ceilings up here hey uh, get her in there no and we're facing that way Oh, 
Mm. You know, say this, this is only going to be a bit of this, it's going to be covered, the rest is going to be open. So this is why I might need the big palisade things. So before I put any animals in here, I'm going to have to like fence this down to the river. I don't think they'll deliberately get into the river and swim around to try and get me. Um, I know some of the animals do cross the river. Which is how I was planning to do a whole, per whole perimeter. Which a lot of wood, a lot of nails I think. Right, so then that will be a double door. So we're going to go that way. Um, no, that way. That'll be fine there. That should be big enough for a couple of beds. We can get a couple of beds in here and shower. That should be fine.
and my microphone's been muted again. I do apologise folks. So what I've been rabbiting on to use for the last, oh I don't know, 20 minutes and my microphone's been muted. Anyways, right, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not yet subscribed, we use subscription is most welcome and totally appreciated. Also, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and leave me a wee comment in the comment section down below. Right, take care, stay safe, we'll catch you in the next one.